huge change that happened almost immediately after we took Soren off oxygen. His huge guys I am Sarah Kate I currently have an 11 month old baby boy I can't believe it every time I say that he is growing so fast but he was born prematurely by two months he was early so I've been doing a lot of videos surrounding prematurity and him coming of off of oxygen I also make just general motherhood and lifestyle videos every week so if you like that make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and start this video hey guys okay so this video took so much longer for me to actually film edit and get out for a really good reason and that is because things got so crazy when Soren was taken off oxygen. Like, crazy! And he's here hanging out with me right now. So let's get into exactly what changes happened once Soren was taken off oxygen. We did take Soren outside twice. The first week off oxygen, we went to go get his first flu shot. And we went to go to a car show, which I went over in my update clean with me video that I'll tag uh, somewhere in this video now. So if you guys want to check that out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into how our lives have changed since we kicked the O2 machines to the curb. First of all, it has been so quiet at night because the, the oxygen machine that we had was a machine that you plugged into the wall and it ran off of room air and it was just so noisy, it, very, like, it was kind of like its own sound machine. So we got very used to this loud machine every single night when we were all sleeping in our room together. Uh, it also created some heat, uh, which I kind of actually miss now because the weather's getting cold. Um, so that was a really big adjustment for us at night was not having this really loud noise in our room anymore. And another thing was I'm so used to walking around his machines in our bedroom and throughout the house. So whenever I walk down our hallway into our room, I kind of always step to the right so I don't run into the machine, but it's not there anymore. So I'm still getting used to not having to do that. Another big change has been our morning and evening routine with Soren has been completely simplified. Uh, because there's obviously there's no putting on the cannula or um, making sure everything is plugged in correctly. Um, a lot of that was took up a lot of time to do in the morning and the night. So it's really weird to just get Soren ready, you know, put on his nighttime diaper, put on his pajamas, uh, and just put him to bed right away. It, it's been really strange and a huge adjustment that I'm still not used to yet. And a similar routine with the morning, you kind of just get him up and get him ready for the day in his outfit. So it's been so weird. It feels like I'm missing something, like I'm forgetting to do something. So I'm still adjusting, but that has been a huge change as well. Another huge change that happened almost immediately after we took Soren off oxygen is he has been way more active. He has been using his upper arms a lot more. Uh, he could roll over before, but now he's just rolling kind of across the room. 
and just really utilizing his muscles and the space that he's he is in a lot more now that he doesn't have these cords holding him back um he's just like a free baby and he has just been like all over the place and it has been and that's part of the reason it's been really crazy is he's just a lot more to handle now because he feels so free probably So I would say the biggest change since getting off oxygen, and me and Alan were not ready for this at all. We had no idea this was going to happen and it took us by surprise. But Soren is now sleeping on his stomach. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> it freaks me out and every time I go to the doctors and the pulmonologists, I told them what happened and they were like, well, you know, back is best. I'm like, I know back is best. Like, what are you talking about? But for some reason, Soren always slept on his back or sometimes his side when he had uh, his oxygen equipment, when he had the cannula, he had all these cords like kind of holding him down. But now that he's so free, I guess he just felt like he wanted to be a tummy sleeper. Maybe he always was, but was restricted to where he couldn't sleep on his stomach because his face and the cannula would be like hitting the mattress. So that was a really huge curveball. Me and Alan were not ready for, and it is extra stressful because now we don't have a baby that's on oxygen. Now we don't have the machines telling us how his oxygen and heart rate are is doing. And now he's on his stomach and all those things are very scary for me. So uh, we've had quite a few sleepless nights. We've had a lot of times where we go in, we kind of, you know, poke him, make sure he's still okay. Uh, we obviously try to adjust his sleeping position and place him gently back onto his back while he's sleeping, but he would wake up. Um, we have tried everything we have thought of. I have talked to my pulmonologist a million times and the nurse there was laughing at me because I was freaking out about it so much. But she's like, it's perfectly fine. Obviously, just keep a close eye on him and monitor him um, and just check for any, you know, fast breathing. But he's been doing great. He's obviously getting some really good sleep. Um, but yeah, so those are the biggest changes that we have faced just in the first week. Hey. <laughs> So tomorrow we have our pulmonologist appointments and it'll be the first one we have where he's not technically on oxygen anymore. And I'm a little bit nervous because it'll be the furthest I've ever driven with him without having anyone go with us. Um, but I think the actual appointment will go okay. Don't you think so? I think so. Um... And then on Friday is my birthday, and I keep forgetting about it, so it's going to be kind of a busy week and kind of fun, so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Okay, so that is pretty much it for our update on our first week off oxygen. So we have survived. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be my birthday week video and we are going to the pulmonologist next week as well. Um, so it's gonna be a really fun and busy week um, I'm not sure if I'll have a bonus video up before then. 
Uh, maybe, maybe not. But thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.